Power electronics has always been a domain which has been in the peripherals. That means power supplies, voltage suppressors, spike arresters, those kind of things. But that is changing. And the reason for that is because today the biggest challenge we face is climate change. And that means technology is changing. The hottest domains today are electric vehicles, smart grids, renewable energy, high speed trains, you name it. Even those domains where fossil fuel use was sacrosanct is now being electrified. And what that means is power electronics is the emerging technology. It forms the heart of technology. So therefore, the biggest skill or one of the biggest skills that you could you would want to acquire as an engineer is learning power electronics. And that's the reason why I built this course. I have been a power electronics engineer for now close to 15 years. And I wish to impart my knowledge of power electronics and also of software through this course. So what will you understand in this course? The reason why I built in this course is because one of the best ways to learn power electronics is not just by learning the equations or just learning some of the circuits, but by actually getting hands-on experience. Now, building circuits and actually getting into hardware may not be that easy, but simulations is always possible. And in this course, I'm going to show you how simulations are going to give you a lot of information and a lot of knowledge about power electronics, even though it may not be exactly equivalent to building hardware, it is still very, very close and significant. This course will be using several, several tools. And that is one of the biggest takeaways of this course is this course emphasizes on the use of free and open source software. In this course, I will be using only free and open source software for all my tools. You are, of course, welcome to use paid software as and how you feel necessary. But for to use this course, you do not need anything after once you register for this course. All software are legally free and open source. That means you will always have access to them and therefore you never have to worry about not being able to access them. In this course, I will be going through a lot of circuits, uh, several circuits, but most importantly, this is not a zero to 100% course on power electronics. If you're looking for something that's going to cover a vast range of circuits and topologies and several other control strategies, this course is not for you. This course focuses on, on helping you learn how to simulate power electronic circuits. I will be going through lecture after lecture where I'll be teaching you from the basics how to set up a simulation environment. To begin with, we'll be installing all the software, we'll be installing all the tools, we'll be setting up our environments. In this course, I'll be one of the main tools that we'll be using is the free and open source circuit simulator Python Power Electronics. I'll be teaching you how to not only install the software, but also how to build simulations with it, how to configure simulations, how to run your simulations, how to analyze waveforms, and most importantly, I'll be teaching how to tear apart a circuit, how to break, how to simulate a circuit in steps and in various different formats. Now, what do I expect from you as a student? As a student in this course, I expect you to have some basic electrical knowledge. What that means is I need you to have basic electrical network law information, things like Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff's current law, nothing more, nothing fancy. I just need you to know how to write a simple loop equation or a node equation. This is all I need. And of course, a little bit of knowledge about magnetism and electrical and electricity, which even a high school student would have. So therefore, if you are anything above a first year undergraduate student, you are welcome to attend this course. The second thing which I would expect from you is some basic programming knowledge, even though not in Python, I'll be using Python heavily in this course, even if not in Python, in some other language that may have been used before. That could be C, C++, Java, anything, anything. It doesn't really matter. Any high level language programming is good enough. As long as you know what a variable is, what a function is, what a loop is, what a condition is, that's good enough. Now, what would you, what is the most important thing that you would gain from this course? This course is all about depth. This course is not very vast in its, in its uh, syllabus. The most important thing is I will be going deep into each and every circuit. This course doesn't just teach you about circuits with topology with equations, but it describes every circuit from the physical point of view. That means I use the basic fundamental concepts of physics to explain every circuit. The most important takeaway from this course is, and the most important requirement I have, is that you must be open to, or rather have an open mind to open source software. Many of you may be coming from software which have been commercially used, and that means you have the convenience of having just double clicking and drag dropping everything. 
in this course it will not be that easy i do expect you to write code i do expect you to use a command line and i expect you to know a little about environments setting up environments and things like that that is very important to know you must be comfortable or at least i don't have to be comfortable to begin with but you must be willing to learn how to set up an environment how to use the command line how to write code this is not going to be as simple as a simple drag and drop circuit or a double click that you might be using in other commercial applications and the important reason is because i want this course or rather the tools in this course to have a real the the actual power of programming which comes from using fundamental tools rather than just using a graphical user interface with other fancy features built in most importantly this course will cover the fundamental not only the fundamental parts of physics but it will also teach you the basic concepts of electrical energy and how they are applied to power electronics now as before this course if you are looking for a very comprehensive course on power electronics this course might not be the right one but if you are looking for a course to get started with simulations to get into get into depth and for a course which actually takes you through the process of simulation with code along examples then this course is just right for you and i would suggest jump right in and i will see you in this course